Now once again welcome all students a part of the central school especially for standard 9. Now dear students this is the fourth part of this poem Wind by Subramaniam Bharti translated from Tamil by A.K. Ramanujan. A.K. Ramanujan. Okay dear students in that's a first part second part third part we already discussed about the poet about that's a theme summary and um, poem and line wise strangers also okay so this is the last video of this poem in this video we discuss about that's a question answer of the re related to this chapter okay once uh, once again i recap that's a uh, theme of the poem so we all know that uh, wind is a natural phenomena in this poem the poet talks to the wind the power of wind has been described and the poet says that the wind is destructive. So in this poem the poet uh, says that wind is destructive. He has linked the destructive power of wind to the adversities of life and says that the weak people break down. But a strong people in that conditions emerge out of adversities stronger people emerges out of adversities uh, the poem gives that's a very important message that we should be mentally tough and physically strong in order to survive the hardship of life so that poem is give us a main message if you want to be survive in this world then you must be physically and mentally mentally tough and physically strong okay so already we discussed and i hope that you will understand you will understand also and now in this video we discuss about that's a question answer related to this part okay in this poem let's start so that's your first question give in brief the central idea of the poem the central idea of the poem is that nobody cares for the weak even God help God help the strong therefore we should not pray for mercy or help we should make ourselves strong if we are strong everybody will like to be friends with us so this is the theme and central idea if you are strong the whole world that's your friend but if you are weak then you know God also doesn't help you okay now next uh, what lesson can we learn from the action of the wind on the tire okay in the fire is weak the wind blows it out if the fire is strong the wind adds more power to it it makes it roar and flourish therefore we should make ourselves strong if we are weak everybody will harm us if we are strong everybody will like to be friends with us even the gods help those who are strong they pay no attention to the prayers of the weak so dear students no doubt that's a very great lesson to find this uh, poem and uh, next what is the impact of the wind on the weak fire and strong fires okay weak fires are powerless and helpless against the force of winds and are easily extinguished but the strong fires when fanned by the wind rig more uh, furiously and burn with a thundering roar thundering roar okay students next why does the poet want people to have firm bodies and strong hearts why because we know already in that summary in life people have to encounter the winds of hardships so in this poem we discuss about that's a wind but wind relates to our life that's a hardship of our life the winds of hardship unfavorable circumstances and big obstacles 
if people are infirm unhealthy and weak willed they will be defeated by these difficulties but if they are physically strong and mentally def uh, confident they can resist all the hardships boldly and successfully so if you are strong so that's nothing is difficult so each and every thing that's support you but if you are weak so that's your whole your body is not support you okay now next questions briefly describe the central idea of the poem so that's the same the poem wind motivates us to face challenges of life with greed and determination in it inspires us to face all the hardships of life with courage representing the turmoil and troubles of life the strong wind teaches us the value of unshakable determinations okay so you must you remember it and last what does the wind symbolizes in the poem so that's very important questions so the poet converts the natural force wind into a symbol in the context of human life the destructive wind symbolizes the hardships problems and obstructions in the life of people just as buildings have to face a strong winds people have to encounter difficulties and obstacles in life so dear students you know in this poem wind that symbolizes uh with that's a uh, obstacles obstacles of human beings life if you are strong if you are physically and mentally healthy then the whole world with you otherwise that's your shadows that's your bodies it's not uh, support you okay so i hope that each and every students must you understand and note down whole question answers and that's uh, you also note down question answer related to your book that's ncrt note down and remember it if have you any confusion related to this poem so you must uh, comment on comment box okay till bye